if you have multiple sheets in your Excel workbook, then it becomes really useful to use formulas across these sheets. For example, maybe you want a totals sheet which adds up figures from the other sheets in the workbook. So let's do it. You'll notice that we're in a different supplemental file now, so make sure you've got the same one open that I'm using here. And we learned about setting up multiple sheets in the format and structure spreadsheet skill. But if you look down at the bottom, you can see that I've got a Q1 totals sheet here, and then I've got separate sheets for January, February and March. And also notice that the layout of these three sheets is currently absolutely identical. The only difference is, you know, the actual month in cell B2. But what I'm going to do is just quickly fill in some figures for these three three sheets so that when we start putting in some formulas for our totals we can see it doing all of our adding up for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Jan sheet and then hold down my shift key to select all the way to March and then I'm going to select all of these shaded cells which the values are going to be inputted into and let's just type in 100 and press control enter. That means I've now got, if I flick through, I've got 100 in every single cell across January, February and March. Of course, Q1 totals is still nice and empty because this is where we're going to have formulas that are going to add up across those three sheets. So we're going to be expecting a value of 300 in each of these shaded cells because I've just got the 100 that I just popped into all of those separate sheets. And to start off with, let's build this up using the kind of click and point type of method. So we know we start a formula with the equal sign. So watch the formula bar as I go and click on the cells that I want to add up. So I want to go to the Jan sheet and I want to add up that cell. Look up at the formula bar. Let's type the plus. Now let's go to the Feb sheet because I want to add it up with that. Now let's type the plus again. Let's go to the March sheet and add it up with that. And if you look up at the formula bar, you can see how the sheets are referenced in the formula. It's the name of the sheet with an exclamation mark afterwards. So it's the C4 cell on the Jan sheet plus the C4 cell on the Feb sheet, etc. That's exactly what I want to add up. Let me press enter and it'll take me to that total sheet with the answer displayed. That's looking good. And of course, I can use the fill handle to repeat that across the other cells. And if I just click on one of the other ones, for example, it's using the same sheet references, but of course using the D5 cell on each sheet. So that's looking good. But of course, the problem we've got here, if we had lots and lots and lots and lots of sheets, then this is going to be a very long, cumbersome formula. So it would be better to actually create a sum function that sums across the range of sheets. And I'm going to be even more efficient by entering in this formula with those four cells on the total sheet already selected. So I've just clicked and dragged over those four shaded cells. So now let's type in the equals sum. We're going to use the sum function, open bracket. And previously, when we looked at the sum function, we were summing a range of cells, weren't we? But this time we're summing a range of sheets. So down at the bottom, I'm going to click on Jan and then shift and click on Ma. Look up at the formula bar. That's the range. It's the Jan to Ma range. But I need to tell it which cell to look at. So let me just click on the first cell in that selection. Look up at the formula bar, it's the Jan Tamar range, the C4 cell, and I'm going to press Control Enter to finish that. And I did that because I had all four of those cells selected on the total sheet, so Control Enter will put the same data into all of the selection. And if I just flick through, look up at the formula bar, it's using the same range, but of course the actual cell that it's taking the value from is changing. Because as we know, Excel by default is using relative references when a formula is repeated into multiple cells. So that is actually looking really good. That does exactly what we wanted. If any of these figures were to change, so let's go to March, for example, and change these figures to 200, control enter, there we go. Go back to the Q1 totals. Yes, we can see that those London figures have increased. That's working well. But of course, this method does rely on all of the cells on these different sheets being in exactly the same position. You know, either because we copied the sheets when we set it up originally or we were using some kind of template. And I would absolutely recommend that that kind of consistency is going to make your life easier when you do want to create some kind of totals sheet like this. But it's not always going to be quite so neat and tidy as my demonstration example here. So let's imagine maybe for the February sheet, that actually the Paris and London rows were the other way around. So let me just change that around. So Paris, there we go. So let's imagine that the Paris figures for February were actually quite low. So let's just change those to 50. So we should see that the Paris figures have decreased. But of course, if I go to the total sheet, we'll see it's the London figures that have gone down by 50. Because these formulas aren't taking into account any of these headings. They're just adding up whatever appears in that position. 
So if you want to consolidate data across multiple sheets where we do have consistency of the contents of labels, but they're not in the same position, then we need to use a different feature. So what I'm going to do is on the data ribbon tab is to use this consolidate feature. So if you have a look at that, and in fact, if you hover over the button so you can read the tooltip here, it does give quite a good summary as to what we use this for. And I do recommend you click tell me more and have a look in the help facility here. And it explains, you know, that uh, we've got different ways of consolidating data, including consolidation by category, which is when the data in the source areas is not arranged in the same order, but uses the same labels. Yes, that now fits our example because everything is referring to Paris and London, but these headings might not be in the same order. Well, we know they're not because I just changed it, didn't I, for one of my sheets. But I will leave you to review that in more detail in your own time. But let's have a go. Let's go through it. I'll talk you through an example. So I'm going to close out of that and I'm going to give myself a brand new alternative totals sheet. So let's just call this totals. So there's our original totals using those formulas that we already tried. We've got a new total sheet ready for this new method. Let me just zoom in a little bit so we can see what we're doing. And notice when we use this consolidate feature, we don't have to type in any headings. It's going to generate that for us. So let me just click here, go to consolidate. And it's saying, well, what function do you want to use when you're gathering data from these different sheets? Now, we have yet to learn about different functions, but we know about the sum function. And that is what we want to do in this particular example. Then it says, well, point me to the cells you want to sum, please. So I'm clicked in this reference bit. Let's go to the Jan sheet and say, well, it's that lot. And notice I am including the labels. There's the reference. Let's add that to the list of references. Let's go to Feb and it's already tingling around the same cells, but I could click and drag to indicate a different bunch of cells if I wanted to. So let's add that. So yes, Feb's been added and let's do the same for March. Let's add that. Good. So I can see the three sheets have been added and I now need to tell it to use the labels in both the top row and the left hand column of these references. So let's click OK and see what it's done. Now that is looking really good and you can see that it has correctly shown Paris as the store that had the drop in value of figures. If I go back to the original totals, it was London, wasn't it, that dropped by 50 units or whatever it was. So this has absolutely done that correctly. But look up at the formula bar. These are just static figures. They are not formulas that are going to update if the values in those sheets change. Now, that might be just fine. That might be what you want. But if you go back into that consolidate option, you do have this checkbox here, which says, OK, let's create links back to the source data. You think that looks promising. I'm going to choose that. Click OK. And then you think, ah, that's not quite what I was expecting, because if you click on these cells and look up at the formula bar, you think, well, there's no reference to the different sheets there. What has it done? Well, what it has actually done, if you look at the very far left hand side, it's created a bit of an outline for you using these outlining tools here where you can collapse and expand. And we will see these in action in a different skill when we talk about lists. But it has brought in the data, creating links back to those other sheets, but quite possibly not in the way that you were expecting. But anyway, rest assured, if you were to make a change, for example, to the Paris what's its figures, let's do it. So Paris what's its figures has gone down even further. Let's make a change to that and go back to that totals. Yes, we can see that that has adjusted. So to wrap up, then we just saw two different ways to use formulas across sheets, noting that if you want to create a total sheet like this, you need to be alert as to whether the sheets are identically laid out or not, because that will determine whether you just use straightforward formulas across the sheets or whether you use that data consolidation feature. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.